welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a really cool video because it's going to be all about my first week of nursing school um today is tuesday so my first day was actually yesterday i didn't record because i had to get up really early and then i got out of class i had two lectures so the first one um, basically from like 8 to 12, second one from 1 to 5. So then by the time I came home, I pretty much just ate and didn't feel like recording. <laughs> but um, today's Tuesday. My class isn't until later, and later I do have a lab. So that's going to be pretty cool. I'm definitely going to let you guys know how that goes. But so far, I feel okay. Um, a lot of the staff are talking about how this is going to be the worst, not worst, but like hardest semester because it's summer and it's shorter and all this stuff so I don't know if I should be more nervous but I kind of feel like you know I got it I'm excited I'm really really excited I'm going to show you guys a little bit about what's in my bag for right now but I know that it's going to change when I actually get more nursing stuff like there's a nursing bag um that we had to purchase so I know that my bag is going to change but for right now this is how my bag looked for my first day um is this right here I just wanted to buy like a regular book bag that had the sides for water to bring water and inside I have most importantly is my planner so um, this planner I got from Target and I just like it because one it's huge and I like to write a lot in my planner and it has the months um, the big month outline the boxes are pretty big so I can write a lot in it like for example for May so far you have some stuff written in there and then when you get to the actual days those boxes are huge and I love that so yeah so this is my planner I carry it around every day it's made of kind of like a waterproof ish material so that's really nice too so you know it won't get like bent and worn out really easily a couple of three subject notebooks honestly don't know how much I'm going to use this because it seems like for my classes so far for my lectures they have the PowerPoints online and then they upload it and you can either write right into it or um, print it out write on it or just keep, um, do it on your laptop so I haven't written anything in this yet I don't know if I'll use it maybe to study I don't know and then I bought some folders, you guys. I just, I don't know. I felt like a little kid going back to school. I didn't, actually, I didn't even buy these. I already had them. So I haven't used them yet either. So I might not have to use those. And then just like regular pens and stuff. Um, highlighter, badge pulley, hand sanitizer. I really want to show you guys my stethoscope. So... I bought a Litman Classic 3. I did watch a couple reviews before I bought it. And um, it was either between the Classic 2 and the Classic 3. So I thought that I might as well get the Classic 3 and just keep it forever instead of getting the Classic 2 and then maybe wanting to upgrade in like a year or two. So I just got the Classic 3. This is how it looks. So it's plum, right? Yeah. I think, yeah. It's purple. It has the dual head, so it has the bigger head for adults and then the smaller one for kids. And then this is just how it looks. I don't really know how to listen for anything yet. So once I learn more about um, actually using this thing, I'll be able to do a better review on how much I like it, how accurate it is, all those things. But this is it so far. And I'm just really excited, and it's cute, you know, really super cute. I uh, also bought this clipboard. Oh, let me open it. I bought a couple more things that were required, so we needed to get these scissors. Yeah. And a pen light, so I got that. I got the one with the little um, circles on the side for pupil dilation, I believe. And then I got this clipboard. I got it from Amazon, super, super, super cheap, and it has some information on the back. Um, I guess just good things to know. It talks about normal blood gas values, vital signs for, um, that are normal, interpreting abnormal blood gas results, shock, um, 
basically normal labs so that you can know what's abnormal. <laughs> so yeah, I bought this. I know that there's some that have a calculator up top and things like that. Um, I just bought the cheapest thing on Amazon, to be honest, and I just bought it in black. So yeah. So these are basically the supplies that I have right now that I'm working with. I have my lab later on today, so I'll be in my um, lab uniform, which has the scrubs and everything. Um, my school's pretty strict on the dress code, so whenever you're in your lab, your clinical uniform, your hair has to be up, you have to be wearing like all white shoes and everything. So that's how I'll be looking later when I go to my lab. And I'll either record tonight or tomorrow to let you guys know how that went. I know they said that we're going to be learning about taking vital signs. So super excited. I feel like even though it's only day two, I've learned a lot. Um, when your classes, when your lectures four hours, yeah, you pretty much learn a lot in that time. So I'll keep you guys posted on the rest of the week. Hi, welcome back again. So my first week is officially <laughs> So <laughs> it's been a really long week seeing that it's only Monday through Thursday. So I'm really excited for the weekend. Um, excuse my really bare face. I'm about to drive home um, to where I'm from and just hang out with my family for the weekend. This is going to be the last time that I'm able to do this because I'm starting my clinical soon. So today's Friday. <clears throat> I don't have anything scheduled today so I can go home for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. But soon I'll have clinical on Friday, so my only free days would be Saturday and Sunday. And your girl is not driving three and a half hours to be there Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just going to really take advantage of this weekend. I know that was kind of like a personal thing. But yes, my first week went well. Um, the last time I recorded, I was going to lab that day. So lab was cool. It wasn't what I thought. I know I told you guys I was going to be doing vital signs, but that was actually not Tuesday. That's Thursday that I did that. So Tuesday when I went to lab, it was really just I'm um, working with my lab partner, figuring out good ways to interview the patient, do like a very general health assessment, get their family history, their past history, things like that. So a lot of things that you don't really think about that you have to be taught, you know, when you go to the doctor and they ask you, so why are you here? How does the pain feel? When did it start? Point to it. Um, does your family have history of this? These are things that they're teaching us. So really helpful. Um, and then Wednesday, I didn't have class or anything, just a bunch of meetings. Thursday was um, my other lab, which is when I did the vital signs, which was so fun. Even though I don't really know what I'm doing yet, it was really cool. We took blood pressure, we used our stethoscope ooh, to help with the blood pressure. We did pulse, um, respirations. So a lot of cool things. Um, and we we're also in like our simulation area. So we had the, the mannequins, so the dummies in the hospital beds and everything. So very much in a hospital environment. So it looked it looked pretty legit. IV lines, everything. So I'm really excited about um, my Thursdays because that's when I'll be doing all the hands-on simulation type of stuff. But um, yeah, it's Friday. The week is over. Advice that I have for anyone starting soon is to stay organized. Like I said earlier, I have never used my planner so much in my life. So whether it's your planner, whether it's your calendar on your phone, whatever works for you, whatever is going to keep you on track, just do something. Don't just rely on your memory because I promise you're going to forget something. I'm literally writing down all my reading assignments that I have to do all the exercises, all my like homework assignments, when my tests are. They also suggested, my professor suggested to schedule in study time. So I'm going to try to do that. I don't know if I'll actually stick to it, but I'll give it a try and I'll let you guys know how it goes, whether I think it's effective or not. Um, but yeah, whatever you have to do to stay organized, just do it because there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. And then also stay like in the loop with everything. I downloaded the Canvas app for all my classes and also I have my student email on my phone. So whenever my professor sends an email or whenever they put a discussion or assignment or anything like open an assignment so you can start early, um, I get those notifications. So really clutch, um, really keeps you in the loop and keeps you informed on everything. So don't just you know, log into your email once a day. No, just put it on your phone. We're millennials. We are always on our phone. Just make it easy for yourself. Um, besides that, yeah, first week over. Great. Um, 
about to be stressed, I know. I also think I'm going to get a job because right now I feel like I have a lot of free time. So in the fall, if I feel like I have a really good grasp on everything, I'm going to get a job either as a CNA nurse tech thing or patient registration. I definitely want to do something still in the hospital. So let me know if you guys are in any of those positions. Give me some advice, some insight. How do you like it? Do you think it's good? Do you think I could balance it? Um, let me know if you have any advice for me. And like, comment, and subscribe. All those things. I respond to pretty much everybody. So if you have a question, just put it down below. I'm still going to have that video with my recruiter friend. I'm harassing her. <laughs> so um, if you guys have any questions about how to get a job post school, just comment down below. I'm going to ask her everything you guys want to know so that we can get jobs in our fields, make money, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. One more time, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can be the first to watch that video. And yeah, thanks for watching.